first Ontario on Highway 11. Just starting our day, we're gonna grab a coffee and get out there. It's gonna be a long day. Today, we have a lot of miles to get behind us. We're gonna get as many as we possibly can done. I should get to Winnipeg or very close. We should get into Manitoba at least. As long as the weather is good. I've checked the forecast and the weather seems good all the way through the rest of Ontario. I'm gonna have 13 hours available to me to drive today and it's gonna take pretty much every single one of them. Let's see how far we can get and how close we can get to our destination. I have to deliver these tracks into Oak Bluff on the west side of Winnipeg, just on like just outside the city tomorrow, as early as I can. Just anytime tomorrow, first come, first serve. I'm gonna try to get there in the morning. All right, let's go. Little stops as needed today. Go, 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 go. good day. It's not going to have much time for anything else. Nothing. Just whatever stops I have to make. I'm moving. You're going to have to wait. This is a very kind of secluded town. People who live here probably don't feel that way, but it is way out of the way.
in front of me is turning right going to Petro Pass. Thank you very much. It's slowing me down. We got some action over here. Car haulers getting the spanking. Wonder what he did. I'm not stopping here. I am going straight through. We've been driving for eight and a half hours today already. Maybe a little bit more than that, between eight and a half and nine hours. And we're on track to make it, well, well into Manitoba tonight. As long as we don't get stuck behind too many slow drivers. There's always one or two on the way through here. You get, you get stuck behind that are just doing, I've, I've told you before, the hardships of Highway 17 and Highway 11. It's amazing how much power their trucks have as soon as there's a passing lane though. I just want to say that that is truly impressive. Because they will not let you buy them. They don't want you in front of them, even though you'll be gone out of their hair, never to be seen again. No, they want you behind them because they want your lights in their mirror. That's what they like. <laughs> Every time. Ah. But that's okay. Part of the job coming through here. I don't really get too worked up over it. My truck's got enough power that I can usually outpower them on the way up the hill, even if I'm loaded. So if they really want to try to, you know, pin it down, if we're going up a hill, chances are I'm going to get by you and I'm going to leave you in the dust. So it hasn't really been that big of a problem. I just got to wait for the right passing lane, right? And then I can get by them. cooled down pretty quickly. It's only minus 11, but it, uh, it was zero about an hour ago, an hour behind me. So 60 miles behind me, suddenly it's just plummeting. I wonder how cold it is in Manitoba once we get onto the prairies. I could check the weather, but well, then I gotta pull over and I don't wanna. Well, I got tired last night, and I didn't quite make it out of Ontario. So I stopped just outside Kenora. Got a good sleep, we're going to continue on now. Oh, this truck is covered in salt, eh? Ugh. I guess I, I still have the hours to make it. I could have kept going. But my energy was going down, the sun went, went down, and I pulled in here for a little break, and I noticed, you know, there's quite a bit of parking, which was odd for, I think I got here, what, 11 o'clock? So I figured, you know what? Let's pull the brakes, let's shut her down. I'm just gonna sleep right here. So I feel good. Now I can continue on my way, get to my delivery, unload these tracks off my trailer, and then go home and you know, wash the salt off this truck. So let's continue. The temperature has dropped overnight. It's minus 19 Celsius outside. What's minus 19 Celsius in Fahrenheit? Minus 19 degrees Celsius is equivalent to minus 2.2 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gotten colder. Let's hope it doesn't dip down too much further. I mean, it is winter time. We've had a really, really good winter already, but I kind of wanted to keep that up. Turn right. First, you gotta make sure there's no traffic coming, Karen. Trying to kill me? Look both ways, then turn right, if there's no traffic coming. Turn right. I'm turning. Get on my nerves first thing in the morning, Karen. Continue on this road for 213 kilometers. I got to Kenora last night and I, like I said, I was looking at the clock. Well, it doesn't really matter 
if I stop here or if I go all the way to Oak Bluff and stop there. I'm still gonna get there at the exact same time. I still have to stop for the night, right? So two and a half hours yet from where we stopped. Uh, I thought, why push it? Why stress myself? Why drive into the night if I don't have to? It's not my favorite place to stop where there's no facilities like I've told you before, but in Northern Ontario, it seems more often than not, that's sometimes your only option. There's not a lot of 24 hour truck stops and rest stops going through here. It makes me a little nervous, especially when it gets down so cold like this. Like what if my truck stops working, right? But, I mean, every other trucker is in the same boat. We all gotta do it. The country's gotta keep moving. So it is what it is, we get it done. I figured I'd continue the vlog today. Get to our delivery point and then we'll start tomorrow's from there. We're just going uh, back to the yard and then home from there. Service road. It's 
There's a sign, entrance, that way, okay. I must have just missed them, I don't know. I feel like I knew this, I feel like I knew this. Turn left right here. Ah, there's the little sign. Entrance this way. Open your eyes, Trucker Josh! said hello back. I don't know what they want. I don't know who that was. Probably just doing a radio check. All right, I'm going to park here somewhere in the middle, I guess. Out of the way, there's a forklift driver to my left. They're going to need a big forklift to get these off. These things are heavy. I'm sure they know that. I'm going to park right here. Right here. I'm gonna have to detail the inside of this truck again soon. I know, right? I know, I know. Oh, Boo's mad at me. So I'm here now. We're gonna get unloaded and we're gonna start tomorrow's video. I'm hoping to be able to get my drive tires rotated today yet. We'll see if I have time. That's uh that's a big maybe. And it's Friday today, and uh, I've just booked off Monday. Uh, because we have it, things going on Saturday and Sunday. Monday, I'm going to be doing some work to this truck. I have to get those uh, marker lights, those new ones that came in. Got to get those replaced. I've got a rebuild kit uh, from for my bunk heater. And I got a new fan blower motor for it. So I'm going to try to rebuild that thing as well. Get that thing working finally. Try to do it the right way. And if I still can't get it going, well, then I got to pay the big money to get someone who knows what they're doing to do it. Let's hope that I can fix it. And uh, also, I want to start working on the frame just a little bit. Uh, start testing out that uh, rust sealer, rust sealant, and get that going. But that's that's for this weekend. I'm gonna get out here and uh, get unloaded, and then we'll we'll head home. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and the bell. That's the best way you can support me. If you want to go one step further and support even more, click the join now button below the video or on my main page and read up on there about how to become a member and you can join the TJV Members Club if you want. If not, that's fine too. I'll see you right here tomorrow.